In today's session, what we'll be doing essentially would be we'll identify the unique vocabulary associated with thermodynamics. And we'll use that, that vocabulary to define the basic principles that govern thermodynamics. That is the first thing. And essentially, we'll be focusing on that in today's class. Then within this chapter, you will be focusing on SI units and the English unit systems. A uh, few of the conversions that you should know. Uh, you should memorize those conversions. And the reason why you should know those conversions which would be followed by some of the essential concepts of thermodynamics, which includes system, state, state postulate, equilibrium, process, and cycles. These basic terminologies would be with you throughout your thermodynamics. Clear? So you should have a clear understanding of these terminologies. And at the last, we'll have uh, a revision of the concepts with regards to temperature, temperature scales, pressure, absolute pressure, gauge pressure. Some of these concepts would also be incorporated in your fluid mechanics, but you need to have an understanding of these concepts. This would comprise uh, all that you cover, uh, that you will be covering in your chapter one. Clear enough? All right. Ji. Yes. Abdullah. No, sir. All right. But again, have your mask properly on. Uh, so moving on to the definition of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is basically the science of energy. What do you mean by the term science? Understanding. Sorry? Understanding concept. Understanding science is understanding. Yes. Knowledge obtained by observation. Yes. Study. Yes. Anyone else? Science is basically knowledge collected within a domain. That means whatever there exists with regards to energy that is incorporated into a single body, which is known as thermodynamics. Everything that has to be dealt in terms of energy is basically uh, uh, encompassed within the domain of thermodynamics. So it's a body of knowledge which includes everything that has to deal with energy if this is thermodynamics and what is energy ability to do work just work energy is basically ability to cause a change all right so any change is basically in terms of uh, energy is basically caused by energy transformations. For example, if I have a stone at this height and it has certain amount of potential energy, all right? Why do I say potential? Due to its ability to transform into kinetic energy as soon as I drop this stone. So it is the ability to transform from one form to another, clear? What is the principle of conservation of energy? Or what is the first law of thermodynamics? Agreed. So it says that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only transform from one form to another. Clear? Before that, thermodynamics is basically comprised of two words, which is thermi and dynamics. Thermi means heat, dynamic means power. Essentially, it was basically uh, if if you if you recall the first ever uh, real time application of thermodynamics which is the steam engines there was thermal energy available which was used to transform into power clear that laid the foundation of thermodynamics in 1960s and 70s but uh, today all sort of energy interactions whether it is with regards to heat whether it is with regards to water, whether it is with regards to mass coming into a system or going out of a system, all are attributed towards thermodynamics. Clear? So it's a broader terminology now, 
which incorporates all sorts of interactions taking place with regards to energy clear again moving on to the first law which is the conservation of principle conservation of energy principle of conservation of energy which states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can change its form as it is shown on the figure to the right that potential energy at a certain height gets transformed into kinetic energy as the stone is being released from a certain height and all of the potential energy essentially converts into kinetic energy just before the stone hits the ground that gives me an idea that energy has something to do with the quantity is it so the first law is basically dealing with quantities and that is being emphasized in all the three bullet points but let's say i have a hot cup of coffee with i bring it into the class what would happen to that cup of coffee after a certain time it would reach room temperature it would attain room temperature it would cool down that means there is certain quantity of energy available within that cup that gets transferred from the cup to the surroundings so one thing is for sure that there is certain amount of quantity that is getting transferred clear now why it doesn't happen that the same amount of energy which is present in the surroundings transfer from the surroundings towards the cup energy ki quantity to utni hai pehle wo cup ke andar maujood thi ab wo surrounding mein maujood hai why doesn't it happens that the same amount of quantity of energy which is available in the surrounding gets transferred other way around kyun nahi hota aise sir energy jo hai wo hot reservoir se cold reservoir ki taraf flow karti hai all right i have one answer that energy <laughs> uh transfers from hot reservoir towards cold reservoir sir ek aur cheez bhi hai ji boliye ke agar isko micro scale pe dekhe to jo uh, temperature jo transfer ho raha hai jo heat transfer ho rahi hai wo motion hi hai to jo surrounding ke particles hai unki movement kam hai aur jo cup of coffee hai uski movement zyada hai to aapas mein jab wo interact karenge to ye apna motion unko transfer hi karega na sirf essentially you are saying that energy uh, of the particles having higher momentum gets transferred to the energy uh, where the momentum of particles is much less Lower. this is what you're trying to say yes yes acha theek ho gaya high energy level to low energy level we have already defined there is some quantity involved now the principle of the second law says that energy gets transferred in the decreasing direction of quality abhi tak hum sari baat jo kar rahe the wo quantity ki kar rahe the second law ye kehta hai ki sirf quantity kafi nahi hai there is another term which is quality which is essential to define which governs this process which means that the same amount of energy if present at a higher temperature would have essentially a higher quality clear utni hi amount of energy agar kisi higher temperature pe maujood hai to uski quality zyada hogi as compared to at a lower temperature is it clear and the second law says that energy would always transfer in a form such that the quality of energy decreases हायर टेम्परेचर पे ज्यादा क्वालिटी है लोअर टेम्परेचर पे कम क्वालिटी है और ट्रांसफर जब भी होगा क्वालिटी डिक्रीज होगी क्लियर सो दिस इज इसेंशियली द सेकंड लॉ व्हिच सेज दैट एनर्जी हैज क्वालिटी एज वेल एज क्वांटिटी एंड एक्चुअल प्रोसेस अकर्स इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग क्वालिटी ऑफ एनर्जी प्रोसेस के लिए सिर्फ एनर्जी का अवेलेबल होना जरूरी नहीं है उसके साथ साथ उस प्रोसेस में एनर्जी की क्वालिटी का डिक्रीज होना जरूरी है क्लियर राइट नाउ देर आर टू अप्रोचेस दैट विल बी दैट आर नॉर्मली यूज टू स्टडी थर्मोडायनामिक्स वन इज द क्लासिकल अप्रोच क्लासिकल अप्रोच ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड वन इज द 
uh, statistical approach. Classical approach, which is also known as the macroscopic approach. Uh, uh, in that approach, I'm not concerned about the characteristics of individual particles. For example, I want to know what is the pressure within this room. I'll simply insert a pressure gate outside the room, which will tell this room ka pressure. Bata dege. Clear hai jis? Mujhe ye isse or and and if you if you want to know what is uh, the physics behind the pressure that is being created within this room, it is the momentum of the particles which is which which are uh, constantly colliding with the walls of the room that creates the pressure. Clear hai jis? So I am not concerned about the point ke room ke is hisse mein jo particles hain. मोमेंटम क्या है एंड दंस विच आर क्लोज टू द डोर उनका मोमेंटम क्या है इंडिविजुअल पार्टिकल्स के बिहेवियर के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन होना एक्सेसिव इंफॉर्मेशन तो हो सकता है लेकिन इट इज नॉट एसेंशियली यूजफुल टू मी क्लियर सिमिलरली इफ आई हैव टू कंपेयर कंपेयर दिस क्लास विद एन अदर क्लास द एवरेज जीपीए ऑफ दिस क्लास इफ लेट से इज थ्री और थ्री पॉइंट टू compared to some other class which is 2.8 i would have a fair idea ke ye class kaisi hai as compared to the other class i need not to have the information regarding how many students have a grades how many have b plus b that might be the excessive information which may not be required for my purpose clear so the approach that will be following is the macroscopic approach we'll be looking at the characteristics of the system macroscopically will not be involved or will not be interested in stat statistical thermodynamics where uh, the behavior of a group of particles is being studied clear moving on uh, the application uh, of thermodynamics just to give you an idea how closely you are related to thermodynamics you pick up any device any component in your uh, house be it a refrigerator a geyser a microwave oven a tv a computer a laptop uh, a light bulb everywhere energy interactions are taking place clear from that minute scale to an enormous global scale where you have power plants running where you have jet engines where you have nuclear vessels so everywhere you have involvement of thermodynamics because energy interactions are taking place within your daily life and outside your daily life so the horizon of thermodynamics or the scope of thermodynamics is is uh, is immense clear the common example have you ever heard ke heart patients ko normally recommend kiya jata hai ke just after they have taken their food they should not do any exertion sunne hai kabhi kyun actually when you have taken your food the work that heart has to perform pump increases pumping increase ho jati hai it is basically transferring energy to thousands of cells within your body which essentially generates energy it is basically based on this principle the energy is generated within your body and if you realize uh, why are you wearing a jacket today press nahi the shirt se pehli kabhi aisa bhi hua ke thand lagi ho to pehn li ho jacket aisa bhi kabhi hua hoga zindagi mein so what is it that you are trying to contain the heat which is produced within your body now there are two options whether you let it go out of your body your body is essentially a system इसमें हीट जनरेट हो रही है एंड यू आर एडजस्टिंग योर क्लोथ्स विद रिगार्ड्स टू द एनर्जी दैट यू वुड लाइक टू हैव क्लियर आप में से बहुत से लोग घर में एसी लगे हुए होंगे ऐसे ही है एक कमरे में लेट से 12 बाय 12 फीट का एक कमरा है उसमें कितने एसी काफी होंगे चार एसी सी लालूंगा ज्यादा ठंड नहीं हो जाएगी क्यों नहीं लगाते चार ए सी what thermodynamics brings you at the end ye ye ek essential point hai jiski wajah se thermodynamics ko padha jata hai economy how to make your system efficient gaadi kharidne jate ho 
क्या चीज देखते हो माइलेज कितनी है फ्यूलेज कित फ्यूल कितना कंज्यूम कर दी है वाई बिकॉज एवरी थिंग कम्स बैक टू दी इकोनॉमी आपका सिस्टम कितना एफिशियंट है सो एसेंशियली दी मोटिव अराउंड स्टडिंग थर्मोडाइनामिक्स इज मेकिंग सिस्टम एफिशियंट इन योर लैपटॉप यू हैव दीज फैंस कूलिंग फैंस ये क्यों नहीं होता कि जब आप लैपटॉप खरीदने जाते हो साथ एक पडिस्टल फैन भी दे दें आपको साथ लगा के घूमो अच्छी तरह ठंडा रखेगा सॉरी बिकॉज इट इज बियॉन्ड द नीड जितनी हीट जनरेट हो रही है उसके लिए पेडेस्टल फैन नहीं होना चाहिए उसके लिए उसी कैपेसिटी का फैन होना चाहिए जो कि आपके लैपटॉप के अंदर ऑलरेडी फिक्सड है क्लियर हाउ डू यू फाइंड आउट के वट इज द राइट कैपेसिटी इट इज बेस्ड ऑन थर्मोडाइनामिक्स द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थर्मोडाइनामिक्स विच हेल्प यू इन कैलकुलेटिंग द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटेज फॉर द फैन दैट इज बींग इंस्टॉल्ड इन दिस्टम क्लियर